Hey, good morning, everybody. If I get this dumb timer started, there we go. Uh, got a new video for you today. Uh, due to order request, uh, try and make my watchers happy. Uh, you know, I asked for things to talk about. Well, somebody gave me a suggestion. And, uh, well, boy, where am I at here? <laughs> here we go. Monica. 7897. Thank you for the session, Larry. We'd love to hear you talk about any experiences you have had of spirit activity in your house after your sessions. Your thoughts on hauntings, poltergeist activity, and so on. Thank you. Well, thank you, Monica, for asking. And I've sort of got a bunch of few clips here and stuff to show you of the stuff I've showed you through the years uh, in relation to this. And I'll talk a little bit on it uh, best I can. Uh, I'm going to start out by saying that I have had things happen. I don't know. To me, they're paranormal. To somebody else, they might not be. Uh, is it a result of me doing what I do? Talking to these spirits here in my house? It might be. Uh, anything, has anything bad happened? No. Uh, I think I can tell you if you think you're going to, if you think, uh, you want those strange things happening in your house, you might not want to do this. Uh, I'm not saying it's going to. Uh, you know, it's just a personal decision you have to make for yourself. But anyway, I'm going to start out with orbs. And I know orbs are really a controversial subject. Uh, this picture you see here, back, oh, probably a year, year and a half ago, uh, Orbs were hot on the paranormal scene. And I went out and I bought me a trail cam. That's what this picture, this little video is about, is a trail cam. Well, I bought this trail cam, and it's all, I don't know, it's about this big. I, don't, I got it back there somewhere. But it's heavy. It's got eight AA batteries in it. And it's a heavy little sucker. Well, behind me, I got a couple of them big plastic packing crates I keep all my extra stuff in. I don't have drawers and stuff to keep it all in, so I keep them in that. But anyway, uh, I had it sitting back there in that corner on a tripod, a, fo a photography tripod, not a little cheap tripod. And uh, I have it pointing from that corner back over the top of my chair I sleep in here behind me and pointing out towards my door to the room in the hallway. If you've seen any of these videos, you know I have orbs come in through that door and so forth. But anyway, this is a video about the first night I bought this. I had it sitting back there on a tripod, and like I could tell you, it's heavy, and it's on a tripod. I was asleep. This was, well, the clock wasn't right, but this was in the middle of the night, and I was asleep. Something knocked this damn camera over. Tripod and all, because I found it the next morning when I woke up. But the thing of it is, see, this, the, these trail cams, they'll, they trigger motion detection and they'll trigger like in less than a second <laughs> but they don't take a real long video the video only lasts like 10 10 seconds or 20 seconds or 30 seconds i don't i don't remember but it doesn't take nothing to trigger them but once you trigger this video it's it sets right there and you're going to get a picture of whatever's moving in the picture well this is different the picture moves because something is moving the damn camera itself and this happened the first night i used it it's like whatever is here in my house if i have some in my house they didn't like that damn camera and they physically knocked it over and it was messing with it after they knocked it over because you'll see it go from, it'll go to the left and or, or forwards and backwards and it'll stop and then it'll start again and it'll stop and, and it'll move to the left and, and at the end it moves real fast something and you know as you see it right now, if it was running and the camera wasn't moving, that's all you would see is just, just what you see right there. That's what you would see. You know, w without the camera moving, that's what you would see. And anything that moved in that field of view, you would see, but that's all you would see. But in this here, you can see that the whole frame itself is moving in and out, back and forth. You'll see. Whatever the hell knocked it over was mo moving and messing with the damn camera. Here we go. Let me play it for you. Let's see. Okay. 
Here we go. See it? Sort of moving backwards. Now it stopped. It's jerking. It's moving forwards. Now this is the camera moving. And then right at the end, it zoom, it takes off fast. Here we go. See that? Here it goes. See that shit? Something moved, knocked the camera over and was playing with it and moved it around. That's paranormal to me. That something physically moved the damn thing. I'll play it for you one more time. I've also seen my door uh, to my, ro my room. I sat there in my easy chair one night and heard a creaking and I looked and that door opened like six inches by its own. And I've tried opening that door, you know, pushing it, it was, it was real easy to swing on its hinges and air could blow it or anything like that. Uh-uh. You push it, it stops. You push it, it stops. And at some points it even creaks, I mean, because the hinges need oil in. And I physically sat here and watched that damn thing move six inches one night. So, at one time, whether it's still here or not, I don't know, it ha has enough power to move things. So, let me get rid of that. That's kind of interesting. Let's see me move up and see what I got next here. Okay, i got to lead into this. Uh, I've hit it. At one time, I was hearing a lot of noises in my kitchen. Uh, kitchen down on the other end of the house. Down the hallway, on the end of the hallway, and to your left is the kitchen. And I'd be sitting here during the day, and I'd hear these damn, I'd hear noises. Crashes and all kinds of damn noises and stuff. and uh, Coming from the kitchen. And I'm the only one here, and wife's at work. So, you know... This went on for quite a while, and I'd go out there, and there wouldn't be nothing there. You know, I wouldn't see nothing moved or nothing fail. Or, but I, yet I'd come in this room, and I'd be hearing crashes and shit. Well, I'd go out there, and nothing would be moved. One day I'm sitting here, and I hear the microwave. Beep, 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 beep. You know how you push the buttons, and it beeps and shit? I'd be sitting here, and I hear it beeping. I thought, what in the hell is that? It's the microwave. So I grabbed my SLR on my... You know, my 35 millimeter camera and got it all ready. Hear that damn microwave beeping. And I went out there and, and I tried to sneak out there, which is hard for a 400 pound man to be stealthy. <laughs> but I went out there the best I could. And I, as soon as I got to the damn doorway, the noise stopped or the microwave stopped. So I jumped out in the damn thing and started snapping pictures. Well, I got one. <laughs> Let's see. Which one is that? Uh, right here. There we go. Now, if you look above, uh, right above the refrigerator, up towards the top, there's a Coke bottle sitting up there, and you see an orb, bright orb, right to the left of the mic, uh, the, the the refrigerator where the water ice dispenser is there in the door, is the microwave. So I come out here and I start snapping pictures, and I catch catch this bright orb up there. So. Let me blow that up a little bit for you. Now you see it plainer. It's real. It's a super bright one, and that's the only one in the picture. Uh, there's an extreme close-up. Now you can call that a goddamn orb or a bug or dust or whatever you want to, but it seems to me if it was dust, there'd be more than one I'd capture with that camera. Could have been a bug. I don't know. It's up to you to decide. But <laughs> like I said. I've been hearing noises out there, heard the damn microwave, and I ran out there and I took these damn snapshots real quick, and that's what I captured. So, believe it or not, that's my what went on with the noise in the kitchen. <laughs> that's not the only thing that's happened in the kitchen, though. Uh, by a long shot. Uh, here's one here, interesting. I do a session one day. And I was talking to the spirits. And if you look around here anywhere else, you don't see no damn orbs. The only place you'll see them is in that goddamn TV screen, that plasma screen. I was talking to the spirits, and I said, look, can you show Can you show me what you look like? 
I says, uh, I says, if you can, I says, appear in that plasma TV over there in the screen and let me see what you look like. So I took about eight pictures in a row while I was asking them this, you know, with my camera, and I got one picture, and that was that one. It was right in the middle of the whole slew of them that I took. Now, you can believe it's bullshit if you want. I don't care. I mean, a lot of people don't believe in orbs, but I figured that was kind of funny that out of those eight pictures, I only got one, and that whole damn screen was full of them. So the next day, in my next session, I asked him, I said, was that really you guys, did you really show up on my screen like that? And the answer I got was, what, you don't believe us? So that's about orbs there. <laughs> okay, let me stop this. Uh, this is a video of an orb, a short one. But I did just show you. I'm in my room. The door's closed. Uh, I'm probably sitting in my damn chair. But this is typical of the shit I capture around here. Let me sh show you that. I, no, let's just pause it before the next part starts. Look at that sucker. Hey. hey. Let me back it up. Bug? I don't think so. I think this was in the wintertime. But, you, you know, it's just something you have to decide for yourself. Play it one more time. So, that's just about it in the orbs. So now, let me lead into the next part. You know, I hear all this shit happening in the kitchen. Well... I was out there one day making an Egg McMuffin, English muffin, eggs, some Philadelphia cream cheese, a little piece of ham or bacon or whatever, I don't know. But I was making these look look-alike Egg McMuffins anyway, let me, let me, let me call it that. While well, I was making them, I had them here, I had it there on the, on the counter in the kitchen. This is not, this is here at my desk when I made the video to demonstrate, but, uh, you know, I was making them, and I had the thing set and open, the, the muffins, you know, and ready to put the eggs on them as I did them. I did them one at a time so they wouldn't get stuck together, and I could, you know, make them individual for each muffin, and I was building my muffins as I was cooking the shit. Well, I put Philadelphia green cheese on this top half of the muffin, and I had it sitting in a plate, sort of propped against the other one, and... This will more or less explain it. Let me play it first. Hey, Scary Larry Paranormal. For a, for a short one. I'm supposed to be on vacation, but, uh, you know, I've been having all this weird crap happen out in my kitchen. I hear noises and all this crap, and I caught an orb out there when I snuck out there with my camera and blah, blah, blah. Well, this morning I was out there making breakfast. My wife went to work, and I'm making these little, like, egg McMuffins without no sausage or ham on them. It's just an egg on a couple of English muffins. But, uh, <laughs> I'm going to show you what happened here. Here's my English muffin. And, uh, I had just toasted the muffins. I hadn't had the egg in here yet. And they were sitting here on my plate like this. And I got some Philadelphia cream cheese on there, on them. And I had the toasted muffin. I set one down there and I set one here like this on my plate. And it's, you see like the weight of it is is in the plate. Well, I went over to the stove, was tending my eggs, you know, that were frying, and uh, all of a sudden this thing goes, boop, onto the counter. And I said, what the hell? I said, if you did that, do something else. And of course, nothing happened. But, I mean, these things are fairly heavy, and when you tilt something in that plate like that, I mean, the weight is in the plate. But this damn thing goes bloop like that under the counter. So <laughs> I think I got a ghosty around here. It's not malevolent, but it's it's just doing little things. Hopefully it don't escalate into more things. I mean you've seen the paper thing on the wall and I didn't even see that. Well I seen this man. There was no there was no denying it. How this thing flipped out of this plate, you know, when the weight of it's in there. I mean, you know, it, it sits in the plate, and even if I tilt this thing way up like this, 
I mean, the other one is sort of holding it because I had it propped against the other one, you know, with the edge of it up against the other one. But man, that thing just went boop <laughs> when I was over doing my eggs. And I seen it. I seen it pop out of there. So, anyway, I'm going to eat this bad boy. <laughs> but I thought I would tell you about it anyway. It, it freaked me. Well, it didn't freak me. But I thought it awful strange. And I don't know if it's paranormal or not, but but God, I thought so. <laughs> well, okay. That's all I can tell you about that. It's pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> That's what happened there. Let's see what I got next for you guys. Uh, Jacob. Okay. Let me pause that. I guess it is paused. Now, one time I made a video outside. I did a session outdoors. And I was taping outdoors. Because I don't get out there very often. And I was just sort of taking video of the house and different things. So I, had, I went to the mailbox to check on the mail. And you'll see me walk along in this thing. And camera moving because I'm a big fat ass. And I don't walk. You know, I don't float. <laughs> but anyway, I got the mailbox. And I was just messing around, you know. Uh... I said, hey, was anybody in there? Got any ghosties in my mailbox? And you could hear it echo when I talked. And I'll be goddamn if a voice didn't come out of that mailbox and say, Jacob. Now you got... <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> you can believe it or not. But you can hear the damn voice echo. And you can clearly hear it ain't my voice. It says, Jacob. Well, then every, now every time I go to the damn mailbox, I say, Jacob, you in there, boy? <laughs> anyway, let me play this one for you. Okay, it's recording again. It's me, Scary Larry. I don't know how this selfie's going to work, but it's me. And I'm outside. Yeah, I am. Outdoors. And uh, let's turn this around. Come on, the mail. Let me open this mailbox here. Right? No mail. Oh, anybody in there? Any spirits in there? Any spirits living in there? No mail. Oh, anybody in there? Any spirits in there? Any spirits living in there? No mail. Oh, anybody in there? Any spirits in there? Any spirits living in there? Nah, didn't hear nothing. No spirits in the mailbox. So, okay, there you go. That's my Jacob experience. That was a, that's a class A EVP, man. You know? I can't say that I heard it in my ear, but, uh, you know, but it sure showed up on the recorder. So, that was Jacob. Uh, I have had, uh, Other VVPs I've captured here. Uh, sometimes I set my recorder on my nightstand next to my bed where I sleep, my chair where I sleep. And because uh, I sleep in a chair because of my bad back and my legs have to have them up. And so I sleep in that same chair and I got like a table next to it, like a, like a high, one of the hospital stands, you know, you pull over your bed. I got uh, something similar next to my chair over there. But uh, I set it on there. And one night, you know, sometimes I just let it record all night. One night I. Uh, I had like three gigabytes of recording, man. I don't know how long it took me to go through them, just looking for spikes, and found one spike. And it says, all it said was, Grandpa. But it was a Class A. It says, Grandpa. Don't know, you know. And then other times I've been trying, I've been uh, shooting with my cell phone to try and get an orb, and I captured EVPs on the, on the cell phone while I wasn't even trying, so. I can get EVPs. I get a lot of them around here. Uh, now this next one is something that was caught on camera. Before I play it. It's uh, back over here on the wall. I got a... Oh, shit. Let me see if I can point that over there. Whoa! Let's see if I can point this over there. Okay, there's that hat. Let me move that hat. That paper's still there. Uh, see that little paper right here? 
See how easy that swings? I mean, I can't make it. Anyway, it's uh, got the password to my my modem on it. So people come over here and they want my the password for my network, you know, when they bring their laptop over or their tablet or whatever. And I got that made up over there so I can just handle that paper. But uh, I was doing an EVP session here. You know how I make my videos like this, with this way it looks right now. And that was in plain view. And... I made my session, and, uh, and in the comments, somebody says, "Did uh, no?" Somebody, I think, sent me an email, a friend, a friend of mine, and uh, a, a, a subscriber, and they said, "Did you see that paper move in your, in your video?" And I says, "No." So I went back through and looked at it, and I'll be goddamned if that that paper moves on its own. Well, I didn't think too much about it. I thought, well, maybe vibrations did it, you know, or maybe I had some wind blowing, but I didn't have no air conditioner on it, and then, and if I blow, I can move the papers, you know, just by blowing on it from here. So I didn't think it was wind or air that did it, that made that fall. I mean, it could be co coincidence, you know, maybe just something sits there long enough and just all of a sudden it lets go, you know. So I didn't think too much about it. But then another one of my subscribers, after I pointed that out, said, did you hear the taps before that, before that paper straightened itself? And I said, oh, no. So I went back and listened. You can definitely hear two taps right before that paper swings straight. And if I tap on that sheetrock wall, it sounds exactly the same. So I got it on video here. So I'm going to show you this. Uh, it'll probably be kind of self-explanatory, but here we go. More. <laughs> it's just that that crash and noise is just it's just terrible. And I don't know why. Yeah, paper. Let me uh, let me do something with this here. Uh, the volume's already up all the way. Let me loop it. Let me loop it here for a while. We'll watch it four or five times, and I'll stop it. But watch, see that paper? You see my face, and then to the left of me, there's that little sign that says the Geek Oasis for my modem and crap down down here at the bottom. Uh, I don't think my pointer is showing to the left of my arm there. And then right about even with my glass, if you look over, there's a paper there hanging on the wall underneath the window. Well, that sucker's crooked. And then if you listen real carefully, you're going to hear two taps. And then that paper's going to go straight. Let me do it again here. Okay, I'm going to shut up. Listen. More. <laughs> it's just that, that crash and noise is just, it's just terrible. And I don't know why more <laughs> it's just that that crash and noise is just it's just terrible and I don't know why more <laughs> it's just that that crash and noise is just it's just terrible and I don't know why more <laughs> it's just that that crash and noise is just it's just terrible and I don't know why more okay Uh, there was one other thing I wanted to throw in in this batch of stuff uh, is about my out of body voice I heard uh, Monica at one time I did only physical ghost box sessions I used to use props and you know I, I was going to do a Halloween specials or something and I had props set up I, I was getting my props set up and I was recording to test you know the video and the audio and stuff and I was just you know, getting ready to do this uh, thing, and I had a paper mache witch, and I had some candles burning, and I had a pumpkin, and I had a crucifix, and I used to, I had a skull, you know, and all this shit sitting around the radio, and in the view of the of the camera, and I'm sitting here messing with this stuff, getting ready to do this session, and in my ear, like it was sit, stood right here and spoke in my ear, they said. They whispered, candy. A little boy's voice is what it sounded like to me. Candy. And I'm not so sure it might have been Jacob in the mailbox. Like a little boy was around, his name was Jacob. I can't remember back then, but uh, I think I referred to him as Jacob after that.
But I never got it. That's the only time I've ever experienced an out-of-body voice, and it was right dead in my ear. And it says, Candy, when I was, when I was mentioning Halloween. So that's all I wanted to do, and to throw this into the mix. Okay, that's it. Does that look paranormal to you? I didn't think so until I heard that tapping, too. And then that changed my mind. Like I say, I got something around here. I don't, haven't had nothing happen here in a long time, so maybe it's gone now. I did have an attachment at one time, and uh, maybe that was when that was, oh, shit was happening. I can't remember now. now that's, it's, it hasn't had, I haven't had nothing happen here lately. But I don't, I don't know if I'm getting used to it, I don't look for it. But every now and, now, every now and then something will raise up and, and I'll notice it or something will happen. But yeah, I wanted to put this out there for Monica. Uh, anybody else that's interested? I thought I'd make a good video. We're up to uh, 25 minutes now, so I better get the hell out of here. But uh, I, you know, I can sit here and look out that hallway sometimes and I can see shadows moving down the hallway. I've seen that happen. I don't know how many times. Out of the corner of my eye, shadow moving down the on against that wall out there in the hallway. And then I, you know, when I take orbs, they come in through the hallway and uh, noises and shit, you know. And so whether I still got something here now or not, I don't know. I, I suppose they can come as go as they damn well please, you know. We sure can't stop them. <laughs> but does it have to do with me doing this? It probably, most certainly, probably does. So, but like I say, I've had nothing bad happen, no scratches. I did get sick once. I told them they could touch me. And after that session, I uh, was sick to my stomach for half an hour. I thought I was going to throw up. But that's the worst that has happened, you know. Uh, I want to say that, uh, you know, I, I can feel them when they're around me. And that's due to me and my mother. You know, my mother and my, I was a mama's boy. Uh, my dad died when I was nine. Uh, I grew up with just my mom, and we were very, very close. After she passed away, I kept her ashes here in my room for ten years because I couldn't part with her. Well, finally I did what she had requested. But when she was here, man, I would feel her all the time. And that's how I got to know how to feel these ghosts. I mean, I get this electric ting sensation. It starts at the top of your head and just goes through your body like waves. And you get goosebumps, your hair stand on end, and... I can tell when one's around me. Whether well, that means I'm sensitive or not, I don't know, but I can friggin' tell. And since I since I put her where she wanted to go, it hardly ever happens anymore, unless there's something around me. And when that paper did that, I didn't feel nothing then, so I don't know, you know. I guess it's an individual thing. It's an individual, individual thing whether you want to take the chance of bringing something in your house or not. I mean, I haven't physically bring anything in here that I know of. I mean, I don't, you know, I think, I think if, if, if anything at all, it's probably been my mother because we were so close. Uh, she's done stuff over my daughter's house. She's opened the, unlatched and opened the door all the way up and it closed all the way while my daughter was sitting on the couch with her heart in her mouth. And, she has faucets and shit turning on stuff. My, my mom lived there for God on how many years, you know? And uh, so I think it might be her. I think she comes over and pays me a visit and tries to get my attention once in a while. And she's over there at my daughter's house, her old house, and she tries to get attention over there. But anyway, that's my video for today. It's a long one. It's going to be 30 minutes. So thanks a lot for watching. I hope this uh, uh, was something you liked, Monica, and the rest of my viewers. And I'll talk to you again soon. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, catch you again next time. Scary Larry over and out.